Yeah! <laughs> so just like him. <laughs> Good, Good morning. morning. Rock here. Nancy here. Aerosmith in the house. We're back, baby. Oh my We're goodness. Back. What a long stretch. Wow, it was three days. Well, yeah, it's true, but it felt like like a whole week. Being well, from away. Friday to yeah, yeah, I mean, from Friday Saturday, to yeah. Sunday. Hey, Julie. Good morning. Hey, Julie. It's good to be back. Cheers, it's everybody. Good. Green smoothie. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Well, that's fresh. It's, yeah, it's very good. It's very fresh. Very smoothie. Good. Oh my goodness, it's so good to be back. Which is this week theme is really uh, how to get back how on to get track. back on track you know you super easy. you go on vacation you go visit people you you just you know you take some time off and uh, you 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 reset and i think it's yeah. actually pretty a good it's a good idea to, to get off track sometimes well yeah i mean if you think about us for example we've done a show five days a week since on april of, of last year yeah. yeah we haven't missed much of a beat there we have done more shows in a year than like most TV series that have gone 11 seasons. Well, yeah. We're doing 20 shows a month. Yeah. It's because we a love month. it. Because we love showing up for you guys. We need to take a break a little once bit of, in a while. Well, it's not really so much of a break. We had other things that, uh, you know, we had some company. We went out of town. Well, yeah. we, we had uh, all these things to get us off track. and. So that's my point to that is, you know... You, it's okay to take a break once yeah. in a while. I think it's necessary to take 100%. a break uh, once you know, in a while to get off track because then it really yeah. refocusing, refocuses you to like, okay, what's really important here? Yeah. Yeah. I You've been at point. it for a month. You've been working out hard or walking every day, whatever it is, you know, and you just want to take a little breather. You can. Ah, oh, totally. But you, totally. you got to accept and own it. Don't feel bad about it. No. That's not going to help. And that's not going to get... That's going to prolong your off track. Well, that's not going to help you, right? Because if you're taking some time off because you need to just rest or you're going on vacation, you, you should enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Like for me, I find like the... I, I can feel it right away. It's like when I'm pushing it so hard for the whole week and then it's like my body feels like it needs to rest, needs the break, you know. And it's like when you're not feeling like that enjoyment, that you know, that looking forwardness Take a break. to what you're doing. Take a little breather just yeah. because it needs no big to, deal. you just need that breather to like just recalibrate and then you go back oh, into yeah. it. And sometimes you're like, well, if it's been such a long time. And you're like, how do you get back on track? And it's like, or how do you find that motivation to get back on track? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes if you're if you've been off track for so long, then it's it could be quite difficult to get back on track. You feel yeah, lost. It could be a you feel, challenge. You feel overwhelmed. You feel lost. So it's like, I really feel like in order for you guys or for us to get back on track, what really works for me is to really like break it down to small, to uh -huh. sm bite sized pieces because that's what, like it's like if you're. <laughs> If you're going to go back on track and you're like you're thinking in the whole big picture, then it's really intimidating to go back to that. So it's like break it down. Like yeah. start with like uh, you know a thirty minute walk or like a, yeah. Like for me, I haven't worked, anything. I haven't worked out in my god like maybe over a month. Well, you no, know, no. With you know, let me with explain. Weights. Let me explain. Uh, like you know, I'll go for a, uh, bike rides. I'll go for a run. Whatever here and this and that. But to f to to do weight training. Um, I had to really break it down and not do the full hour, really maybe start with 30 minutes for a couple of reasons. I didn't want to like wake up super sore the next day. Yeah. Uh, I thought like, you know, for me, 60 minutes was way, like it was too much when it's you're, ambitious. yeah, it's really ambitious going back into it. Yep. Uh, good morning, Jeanette. And another thing too, is like for my course, I'm working on two courses and plus I'm, I'm adding machine. I'm. I've, I have my course created, but I'm also learning how to add it on a different platform, right. which takes a lot, um, which takes a lot out of me. But it's like when yeah. I'm thinking of the whole big picture, it's like, whoa, that's really um, overwhelming. So I'm like, where do I start? It's like, what, what do I do? So really, it's, it's to get back. First things first for me is to get back into that headspace, that, mm -hmm. that, that mindset. Okay, what do I need to do? What do I, what's the influence that I need to listen to to get me back on track? So that's where yeah. I'm going to start there. Yeah, hundred percent. You're not gonna like take some time off and then think you're just gonna do full blast when you get back. No. You know that's you can do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that because that's kind of how I do it. That's but, your um, approach. It doesn't work for everybody. Like sometimes you just need the break and you need to take a little 
you gotta ease your way back into it, right? Yeah. It's the same thing with anybody else that you're gonna pursue, whether you've been off track health-wise, you're not eating as healthy or you're not exercising as much, you wanna ease back into it. You don't have to, you know, go all bananas over it. You know, you just take your time. Yeah, yeah, totally. Getting back into it can be as simple as taking a 10 minute walk. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be, oh, I used to walk an hour and a half, but I've taken three weeks off. I'm gonna go back to an hour and a half right away. No, you can take 10 minutes, get the feel of it, get your joints and muscles all used to it, and then the next day you can do half an hour and then grow and grow. You also don't have to take six months to get back to your, your peak state or peak performance. Mm -hmm. Muscle you, memory. Yeah, you, your yeah. muscle will re like retain that information and will um, kind of fast forward you into that growth. Yeah. So when you first start off a scratch, you've never exercised, you've got a big learning curve there. Mm -hmm. But after you've done that and you're on your plateau and you give it a rest for a while, when you start over again, that curve is a lot less high. It's just quick because mm -hmm. your yeah. body retains all that information. Like it remembers what you've done and the movements and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, definitely ease your way back into it. Yeah. Like we're doing now. What about you? What's your going back on track with anything? Anything? Mm -hmm. Well, it's the book. I'm going to, I'm going to start the book there. Yeah. 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 Start sketching and doing that stuff. Yeah. Uh, start planning a bit more of my the videos I do on on Facebook and whatnot and and TikTok. Yeah. Um, but I've got to yeah just reevaluate, but also just be a bit more planning. Yeah, because I think what what works against us if we let it is because you know especially if we're if we get off track and it's intimidating to go back to get back into it. Whatever it is, it could be goals, it could be weight, it could be nutrition, mm -hmm. it could be exercise. Um, is to like really. Pay attention to how much distractions are you letting letting it take power over you because it's so easy to uh, oh shit I got like a, a bill to pay or oh, oh oh see what this one's up to or like oh I gotta respond to this email or whatever it's, it's so easy to get into that because that's easy to do as opposed to like really staying focused to what you really need to do yeah. which can be a little bit more difficult if you haven't been at it for a long time so that's right to pay attention to those little distractions. Even though yes, there's some truth to getting those things done, but you have to prioritize your 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 goals and and right. Well, and what are you you're getting stuff on. done, or are you just getting distracted? Are you allowing yourself to be a little bit it's of a squirrel-minded person? Yeah, it's very easy. It's very super easy. easy. So just to, to take note of that, to be intention about like you know getting like putting a, like aside your phone, really focus, narrowing down what you need to do. That's why I recommend, and I I. I, I don't start my day uh, with looking at my phone because then that's something that's going to take, take myself away from yeah. working out and and um, and listening to something that's something that's going to serve me. All that because uh, <laughs> it's easy to be like you, you you open up your your phone and you're like you see all these things these notifications the red dot and you're like ooh shiny you're looking into exactly. that and you're like yeah. oh my god and then half the, you've wasted 10 minutes of your your hour of power your first hour of the morning when you're supposed to be productive and yeah. and work on you uh so it's it's easy to fall into that trap for 100 sure. yeah especially if you've been at it for a long time i think we're gonna wrap it up you're gonna wrap it up yeah. okay <laughs> they get it they get it <laughs> ease into it okay ease we're not into gonna... it minimize distractions i'm not gonna hammer it into you you, you no. understand yeah exactly as always we, we love, love you we're, we're thinking, thinking about, about you. you and we'll see Cold you guys showers, tomorrow morning at 7 15. have a great person. day you guys Eat cheers